Hello everybody, welcome to my channel, I am Magnomega and today I want to show you something very special to me because it's a, a personal project that I want because I, I love the the rings and that kind of oh, jewelry I, I have a, a lot of, of rings uh, that I buy um, but one of my, I don't know, it's my dream but uh, something that I, I really want to to do it's uh, make uh, my own jewelry my own accessories and that is why I create this uh, tree ring uh, inspired in the dinosaur skulls yeah it's a tyrannosaur tyrannosaur yes yeah, uh, the school and I don't know if uh, it's existed something like that before I, I guess uh, yes I, I don't think this is a uh, original in itself but it's something that I, I want to to create and I want to print it in a 3d printer um, because I I have one I, I, I buy it right now uh, one uh, a 3D printer and I, I really really excited and this can be possible to all the support of my patrons and uh, the people who ask me from for commissions and I I really appreciate all this this kindness and support because this helped me to achieve one of my biggest dreams and that's uh, have a, a, a 3D printer uh, and well, the the 3D printer that I that I have it's the Anycubic A3 Mega. It's a uh, it's a very very good printer. The quality it's it's very very impressive. I, I like so much how the, the details that I have and um, the price it's it's not too too high. Yeah, it's it's very cheap. Uh, Thinking and in the final result, they they have the, the resolution and the quality that I have in the printer. It's very 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 impressive. And well, talking about the, the process that I how I made this this ring. It's like usual. I I use the the blender. Yeah, the, the, this awesome software. And I sculpt all the entire process. And this took me one hour. And a half around to to make the, the all the 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 skull and here the more difficult stuff to to create this kind of, uh, of things it's um, have the this, the real size yeah, of the of the piece and the, the ring needs to have I don't know five millimeters from thickness um, and that kind of stuff yeah to be I don't know it can be useful yeah and I I measure a, a ring that I that I have and I try to replicate the the, the size and the in the tree in the in blender and then the the model it, it's it's ready we need to export the the 3d model to stl format and then open this this new file and the program to slice the the 3d model to to create the coordinates that the the printer used to to create the 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 model to print it and the program that I use it's I don't know if I have another one. It's the the program that comes with the the printer. It's Ultimaker Cura, and well the setting it's uh, it's not hard to to know. I try to uh, to find uh, different uh, tutorials uh, talking about the 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 settings and the settings change depending on the different uh, filaments or um, plastics you know the PLA and uh, ABS have different uh, temperatures temperatures or, or different levels of, of, of the 
the, the heat they need to, to print it. And well, I, I use the PLA because it's the, it's the filament that comes with the 3D printer and it's the most easiest to, to work. And that's why I use a, a, a preset that I found in, on the internet and it's worked pretty, pretty good. And well, if you want to, to see the, the final result, I, you can see it in, the, in my Instagram account because I, I am sorry, I don't, uh, I don't have the, the, the way to, to record the, the 3D printer. Well, that's all for for this tiny project. I hope to make more uh, this kind. If you have any idea of, uh, of a ring or something like that, do you, do you want to, to see in the future? I, I will be very, very glad to, to hear you and make some new stuff like this. Yeah. Let me know if you like this, uh, this kind of, of, of work and well, Thank you so much for all the people who support me in my passion and, and who follow me in my social media. And remember, don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more content like this and have to create more things to a 3D printer or a 3D characters for video games. And okay, that's all for all and thank you so much and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.